Hello and welcome back to Garage Review. It's a 101. Um, today we're going to be doing a review on the Mason uh, 30 millimeter uh, RDA. Um, and just straight up, I've been quite impressed with it so far. So um, I'm going to kind of kind of just go over you some of the points that I think are more important um, on this particular RDA, um, and see if uh, you can agree with some of the points that I go with. So. Um, Inside the box, uh, let's go ahead and just, we'll just angle this down. How about that? Um, you're going to get your RDA, but I already kind of have it set up on uh, my box. Uh, so we're not going to just go too much into that. Um, so let's go ahead and see if I can probably zoom this in a little bit further for you and get to take a look at the deck here. Um, <clears throat> what you see here is the. Uh, the 22 gauge Bob flavor wire that actually comes uh, inside the box as well. You get about three feet. It's kind of just a demo spool of it, uh, just so you can kind of try it out. It's, a, it's not Canthal, it's a nichrome. Um, but uh, I've been actually been extremely impressed with with the wire itself. Um, it's very polished. It's extremely smooth and um, excuse me. <coughs> uh, extremely smooth and uh, something I'm not really used to the quality of the wire I'm actually quite surprised at that um, I've only used about half of the the, the demo spool that they've uh, they send with it and I haven't had a need to change my coils it's just been on point um, so that has something to say for me I mean it's that's a good thing, in my opinion. Uh, you don't have to switch out your coils because they just gunk out or anything. That's just an awesome benefit to that. Speaking of gunk, I mean, you know, I know that's kind of more dependent on the type of e-liquid that you're using, but this stuff doesn't get uh, very gunked up at all. Um, I just recottened on here, so I mean, I'm not going to just go through a whole new recottening step to uh, to kind of um, to show you how that works. But I'll see if I can show you some of the features of this RDA that I like the most. Um, and then uh, if I have some cons, which I think I do have a few of them, uh, I'll put and point those out for you. Um, inside the box you'll also get a set of, you know, just kind of some replacement parts for you to, to, uh, to you know, replace if you need it. You get a whole crap ton of O-rings, you get a copper uh, pin, you get a copper uh, connector, uh, you get an, uh, a single post um, um, as well, you get to also get an awesome red screwdriver, which apparently you had a pretty tough time getting that in there. You get a whole bunch of screws. Those screws are Phillips heads. I love Phillips heads. Um, Phillips heads are the best, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the hex screw operation. Uh, if I could probably pinpoint those down in an order, it's going to be um, Phillips, flathead, and then hex. I don't like the stripping feature. Uh, it's actually not a feature; it's a flaw um, of the hex screws. Um, and people can, you know, empathize with me on that if they if they have uh, if they've dealt with it. I'm sure they have. So, um, so on to the deck. Um, let me see here. We got this. Uh, ooh, there we go. Let's focus this. Um, inside the box, you also get two strips of a sample pack of cotton bacon, which is actually what you see here in this RDA. Um, and you can see how uh, well it's it's pretty fluffy. I mean, uh, the description on the cotton bacon itself is a uh, it's like a medical grade, um, like not gauze, but uh, cotton. That you know has like these high absorption magical technology using warlocks from the fourth dimension, uh, writing on a pineapple from SpongeBob SquarePants, and then developing into the new world of shenanigans. You know that's a pretty awesome description, but you know hey, <coughs> but um, you have a uh, four post design. Uh, well, I guess three post. Uh, we'll turn it sideways here to get a better look at that. Um, and I'll bring this up closer in here so you can get a better look at that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, that looks good. So if 
you look at the screws are good. They're very, very well made. Um, everything's just nicely made. Everything's nice and packed. Uh, one of the things that's probably going to be hardest to see is the two posts on the outside, the negative posts. Um, they're bored out underneath of them. Um, let's see here. Use my pointing sticks. Uh, underneath here is actually dead space. Um, it's actually bored out. I think that's a fantastic idea. When I uh, wick my cotton, I, I put it directly underneath the available uh, space that's under there. I mean, I think that's a fantastic idea. Um, let's make sure and push that back under there. <clears throat> so push that back under there. And how I wick, the, wick this personally is I pretty much wick it directly under those negative posts and leave it the bare deck right down the middle. So if you can see that, um, yeah, I feel like you get pretty good uh, vapor that way. I think that's one of the best selling points to me for this particular uh, RDA. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, I got something in my throat here, so it's making me want to cough. Um, so the O-rings. Well, those are some beast ass O rings. That's that's all I've got to say. Those are they they when you put your barrel on there, that's tight as fuck. I like that. I hate it when you drop a barrel on there and you're trying to adjust the airflow and it bitch just spins. Fuck that. I hate that. It pisses me off so much. Um. So let's begin the barrel. Let me show you. So this is the barrel. The barrel. Um. Let's see. Let's get that focus rolling here. Ooh, baby. So. It's an awesome finish. I think the quality of this is actually really, really nice. Um, some people have some issues with uh, chipping and stuff like that, but the heat treat on here is really, really nice. Um, the design is really, really, really well made. Um, and I can't really say praise it much higher than that. I think that's really, really well made. So we'll drop that right onto the RDA. It's nice and tight, uh, lining up with the cotton. Uh, yeah, the cotton and uh, the coils, I should say. Um, <coughs> damn. Um, and uh, whew. there we go. And that bitch ain't gonna spin. Uh, it sits on there really, really tight. I, if, I, if that's something that I haven't said already, you're gonna like that. The, the tightness is, is extremely pleasing um, in most cases. <laughs> As in most cases. <laughs> um, Okay, so we're going to move on to the top cap. Uh, this is where I'm going to start having maybe a con. Uh, this is something that's subjective, but I think it's it's well worth mentioning. Um, it's actually not the airflow controller or anything like that. It's nothing with the performance of it at all. Uh, it's just, uh, I think it's a seal type issue. The, I'm not talking about the O-rings. The O-rings up here are fantastic as well. Um, if you pull out your chub cap, pop uh, you'll notice that you have um, this is your adapter for your chuck cap and you can you get a replacement inside the box as well as with a metal one um, and you to get this off you pretty much get a set of tweezers and you just spin it and this is on here pretty tight so but the one thing and this is where the con or just some, maybe something to be aware of is uh, as you can see here, the threads are wet uh, with vapor or e-liquid, e um, which is kind of weird because it's, if this is all the way down, the seal on here is, is pretty much not all the way sealed from the chamber. So I don't know if it's just like the, the coarse threading that needs to be tuned up a bit, but when you, you know, after a while and you're vaping on this, um, the e-liquid will start to drip out, as you can see, where there's some residue there, drip out from uh, the heat sink area uh, because it's just so much will build up inside of uh, those threads. It's uh, really, really weird, um, and that's a con for me. Um, but it takes a lot of vaping before that starts to happen, um, and if you're a chain vapor, it's going to happen much more quicker. 
Uh, so it really just depends on your vaping habits and how much you vape. Um, and I've tried using the replacement uh, one as well, but uh, the same performance, same thing happens with it. So I'm not sure if it just needs a, some more uh, finer uh, finer threads, coarser threads, I don't know. But the, the seal could be better on that. That's the only ding that I have on this RDA. But uh, that's something that's not really pointed out, I don't believe. So um, that's my opinion on that. And I think that's probably one of the biggest things that I wanted to make sure audiences get to see on that. So, But moving on to the rest of the, the whole thing here, um, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and drop this on here and try to show you the, the airflow technique um, or the options that you have with that. So sits on, boom, it pushes in extremely nice. Um, there's no hang, there's no, you know, having to get it all cocked in there. And it's just been really, 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 really pleasant. The best thing I like about it is uh, this is dry. So um, I think here, Vaporgate has his preference, uh, or at least not his, but they have their preference on what to set it at. And I believe it's about this halfway mark here. Um, and what I have to say about that, they are absolutely right. That's like the perfect airflow, I believe, for this mod. Um, or RDA, I keep calling it a mod, but eh, it's close enough. Um, you get the best airflow like that. Some people have it set to where you have the, the straight bottom uh, straight bottom open. Um, he said he's also seen it to where it's like kind of half cocked like that and people flip the barrel upside down and you get some uh, under airflow under the coil. I don't know. Uh, I've tried it various ways and I did it's just nothing beats the uh, half halfway mark on that. So um, that's my opinion. That that's what works well for me. Um, totally totally down with that particular setup. So <clears throat> let's zoom it back down. We'll bring it back to FaceTime and I'll go ahead and get this uh, juiced up. Um, and really, I kind of give you my final closing thoughts on it and uh, see if that's something that's uh, you guys like. Pop that cap off and strip this a little bit more here. Boop, boop, boop. Don't even have any more of this Yuzi Booba. And uh, put that chunk cap back on there. I'm not a big fan of metal uh, caps um, with metal tips. I like Odell Rim personally. I just, we won't go into that. I just don't like the metal. I'd rather I just have the Odell Rim. So. All right, so we're at 135 watts. You saw the bill. It's a 9 wrap, 22 gauge, uh, running at 0.3. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll <coughs> cough before because you know, you know, you just got to get all the, the shit out of your lungs and we'll test it out. Um, it fires really, really fast. Uh, well, I said 135 watts. I don't know, most people, I don't know what they vape theirs at, but yeah, I, I tend to think that the range that I'm liking the most is between 125 and 150. Um, and I'm trying to find like in between marks, which is like I said, I'm at 135 watts. So mm. Mm. that's a pretty quick little pull, you know. I think I think I got the best clouds out of this so far. I mean, I'm not sure if you're a cloud chaser or you know flavor chaser. It's all subjective in the world of vape. If you get it, you vape. Uh, kind of, you know stigmata on the whole vaping thing. Let's see if we just turn that, open up that a little bit more. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> there's some bronchitis shit going on, so. Fucking excellent flavor, man. I mean, I'm extremely surprised of all the RDA that I've had, even like the Velocity deck builds that I've done. The flavor versus anything that I've had, this is by far the most on point, in my opinion. 
Um, man, I, I don't know. It, I can't rate this high enough. Uh, 4.5 out of 5 for me. Um, and that 0.5 is just going to be that weird uh, adapter leakage problems. Not, not even leakage. It's just all the vapor pounding the top of the chamber and then coming through the seals of those threads. It's just, that's just where it's at. It's, it's odd. Um, and it can, you know, get some leaking, dripping out the top after a whole significant, you know, vape session. So, you know, I'll probably come stand over here um, and just see how good the vapor production I can pull off of this without dying. Yeah, that's probably as good as I can hit it right now. <clears throat> but uh, the flavor, man, I I, I like flavor. Uh, clouds are nice, but if you got nothing behind it to support it, flavor, uh, there's no point in really vaping, in my opinion. If you just want to show your cloud peen, that's all you. But uh, you know, I can bump this up to 150. Uh, Two. And focus feature failure, 150. So, so closing remarks. Um, buy it, 50 bucks. I use a credit card reward points, and I got it for 25. So hell yeah. Um, if your local vape shop has it, I say buy it. I mean. Straight up, um, this is just a local basic vapor. It's good with me. Um, not many people touch base on some of the features that I've seen. Hopefully, no one else has issues. I just got two bad little cap things. I don't know, maybe. Um, but uh, totally, totally try it out, and uh, we'll just leave it at that. Four point five out of five. Buy it. It's good. I totally would buy it again. Not. It. Yeah, I was actually would love to buy the 24 millimeter uh, variation of it. It's a smaller dick, but if I can get that much flavor, I, I haven't tried it, so I'd love to try the smaller one. Um, the 40 just seems like it's too too beast for me. I, you know, I don't feel like dealing with all that. Uh, but some people like to go hard in the paint. So, um, boo. Thanks for stopping by, Garage Reviews 101, and you bet.